welcome to the Red Up unboxing video. Ta -da! So, I did think I have ordered the $90 box with 15 pair of shoes from the Red Up. Um, it took me a while to get this box. You know, they don't available every day, but I got one. And today we're gonna see what we're gonna make from this box. So let's unbox it together. All right, so 15 pairs, let's see. It's all packed very nicely. And let's see, the first pair I see on top, it's a Nike shoes. This is Nike sneakers in a rose color. Um, well, I have sold this before. It's a size 10, pretty shoes. Um, has some dirt on the bottom. And it's a nice condition, honestly. I think I can get my like what, $6 investment plus some $20 on top for sure. And we will see what is the rest. All right, so going to the next one, it's a J. Crew. These flats, lockers I would say, in animal print, look pretty good to me. Size six and a half, in a very good condition. So, I don't know, I never sell actually J. Crew. Try not to, but I think I can get like 20 to 30 dollars for this. And let's see what the next one. Okay, so it's another sneakers. Um, it's Oasics. Two of them. Honestly, I never had a lot of. Uh, luck with selling OASIC, even on Mercari or eBay, but we will see. These are in very good condition, um, good size, size 9, so who knows, maybe I can get like 15 bucks at least for this on top of my 6, let's see. So it was pair number 3, so pair number 4, it's a uh, Perry shoes, these ones, lime green color, dirty up front, and you know, the style is not that good, so I probably just gonna send it back or donate, because they're not very good condition, I'm just not gonna try to invest my time in cleaning them, so this is a bummer. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. I have this Charles which they in okay condition it's not leather and they size seven and a half so it's typical size um, well I think they just cost like six dollars honestly I would never pay anything more than that if I would put it on the Mercari probably it will sell for ten so it's another bomber I have here Okay, so let's go to the next pair. And next one is Crown Voyage. This is like suede booties, size 8. Um, they're in good condition, but it's just not very expensive brand. And it does have some scratches on top of this, on the toes. I don't think you can see it very well. But, you know, I can fetch maybe like 10 to $15, so it's definitely not a very good one, isn't it? Okay. The next pair is... Uggs. I mean, this is good. It does have some blemishes on top, and this is, I assume, a tall, tall boot. Yep, they are. This is our tall boots in gray color, size 7, so it's even my size. Um, they do have some dirt 
right here, plus some dirt on uh, you know on a suede, but. Overall, these are in very good condition and they are in season, so it's definitely a cool one. Alright, so going through the rest, I have this placa uh, flats. It's no name basically, probably ordered from, you know, Amazon or somewhere. Just these cute ones. It's not bad, but uh, I don't think they were six dollars, in my honest opinion. Comment below if you think they did. Okay, so I think like about five pairs left. Let's see the next one. It's uh, Banana Republic uh, shoes. Uh, it's cheap made, I think, and it has some stain here. Uh, well. Overall, they're in good condition. I might just try to clean it up a little and send it back to trade up because I know Banana Republic sends pretty well there. But overall, I don't think I can make a lot of money off them because they're not such in trendy shoes and the color, honestly, it's a little bit off. Maybe it's only for me. Let's go to the next one. I have this Bella heels. Oops. So it's Bella Morrison. Oh, hold on. Close this way. Heels. They feel like it's very well made shoes. I honestly don't know this brand. Um, I do assume they actually might be expensive. Um, they have such a nice heel and uniqueness to them so I assume I can fetch some money of them you know and then it's such a good condition it's just small blemish here but I think I can just clean it with the silk brush so this is definitely not a bad one the second one oh second I'm sorry the next one is Franco Satro we actually almost at the end of the box and this uh, size, God knows which size it is. They actually don't have a size. Yep, no size on these ones. Oh well, maybe inside. Um, well, Franca Satro is basically a very low end brand which sells on like uh, Marshalls and Rose most of the time. And I don't really sell it online so. I might try to put it on Mercari or Poshmark for like 10 bucks, but you know, it's a little bit out of style and I don't know if I will be able to sell it quick, but we'll see. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Oh, that's nice of them. I love shoes. Shoes. So these are basically almost new shoes. Um, this is what you see down there. You see it still have has Nordstrom rack tag, so it's basically was worn once, if so. Um, then very good condition. It's only one teeny tiny stone missing from top, if you see it. Um, well, it's hard to see from, you know, from far. Um, it's size 7, so it's pretty good. I sold them before for like $80. Uh, it was the was pearls though. So I'll try to put them out for maybe $20, $30 and disclosing that it's actually missing one small thing. Okay. The next one is, oops, Brooke Brothers. Okay, so it's like Espadrilla flat. This look nice to me, it's leather, it's red, um, I don't know how trendy are those, but this is a big size too, it's size number 9, and they look pretty to me, no like significant flaws, it has some dirt on the inside which can be just cleaned up. So this is definitely an okay one, and let's see, we got Italian. Shoemakers, size 9, um, this is the flats, 
the sandals. I mean, this is definitely something not sellable, and I would not waste time for that because it has scratches on the toe, right there, and you know the soles are all worn up and threads are coming out right here in front. So this is probably just gonna go to the nation bin. Okay. And the last pair here. It's nine vest, size eight sandals. This is for white. They have uh, wear on the heel. And it's definitely, uh, you know, out of style. It's not leather. No, it's not. And it's very cheaply made. So, does it worth my six dollars? I don't think so. So this is another one that goes to the nation bin. Okay, so this is was 15 pairs of um, rescue shoes from Treda. I'll show you again what I think I'll sell and I'll show you what I'm gonna read in it and what I actually like and might sell for decent amount, amount of money. So let's start. Um, I probably will sell this for 20 plus 30 dollars. Oh, I'm sorry, 20 or 30 dollars. Um, I never saw Brooke Brothers, so let's see what can I fetch for these ones. Okay. Oh, I six. Yes, I'll sell this. Um, Nike sneakers. This will go fast, I think. So it's number three. Number four. Frank Satro, I'll just probably redonate it. Honestly, I changed my mind. I won't be step spending time on this. Nine West will be go to the nation bin. Italian shoemaker will go to the nation bin. And Sperry will go to the nation. Um, what else? I have shoes I will try to sell. So it's number um, four that I will try to sell. This no name brand, I might just send it back to trade up to try my luck or I'll just donate it. J. Cream, I'll try to fetch like 20 30 dollars for these loafers, they look nice to me, so why not? Um, Charles Wedges, well, 10 bucks or it just goes to the nation bin. These grown vintage uh, booties, they on, you know, in style and right now it's probably the right time to sell, so I'll try to fetch like $20 for them. Banana Republic, I can clean them a little bit and send them back to trade out, maybe like $2, $3, you know, so I try to make my money back. Again, I, I'm not sure about this brand, but I'll try to see how much I can fetch. I think it's no more than like $30, $40 because it has somewhere on the hill here. I just saw that. So this is a sellable one, at least. And the last one is Agbot boot. Um, they size seven. I'll try to sell it, you know. But if it doesn't work out, it's my size. So that's good. So, okay, let me resume that. Two, three, four, five. Out 15 pairs, I think um, sellable will be only 10. Five will go back to donations. Two of these 10 pairs that I will try to sell, they're very questionable. I don't think I will fetch my $6 back. But eight pairs, you know, at least 20 or $10 each will bring back my investment and I will make a little bit extra. So will I make like fortune from this? Uh, probably not. Will I make two times my investment? Probably yes. But honestly speaking, right now in my business, I'm trying to make at least five times uh, what I'm investing. So it's definitely not what I'm expecting here. But who knows, I'm all about quick sale and if I can turn this money around in one week, it would be nice. Uh, 
Okay, so leave my, um, this is it, I guess. I don't have anything else uh, to show, so just leave your comments below. This is my impression of this box. I have seen a lot of other ladies doing this thread up box, and I think I got something on par with what I have seen before. So I'm not disappointed, but also I hoped for one like good pair of Prada's or Chanel, you know, but Rossi, so ticks, uh, hello. But I guess this is not the case this time. I might reorder this box to see what I can get again. But um, just leave your comments below if you think it's a good one or should I even go for a next one or not. Subscribe to my Instagram channel and like this video. And I hope you enjoy your rest of your day. Thank you, bye.